So again, I'm going to try to show a little less work this time and just get to the calculations on this. Here is a rough picture of ln of x, and we're investigating slopes of secant lines and a slope of a tangent line for this curve, sort of based at x equals 3. And you can see these slopes should turn out uh, to be positive. We have an increasing function, and let's just see what we get. So in the first case, we're looking at ln of 4 minus ln of 3 over 4 minus 3. So our denominator is just 1, and then ln of 4 minus ln of 3 works out to about 0.2877, and I'll make this a wavy equal sign. I've rounded off the results there. On the second interval, we have ln of 3.1 minus ln of 3 divided by 3.1 minus 3. And so throwing this into a calculator, we get the following. I'm getting about 0.3279. OK, and finally on the, the even shorter interval, we'll take ln of 3.01 minus ln of 3 and divide by 3.01 minus 3. And let's see what we'll get there. So ln of 3.01 minus ln of 3 divided by what becomes 0.01. I'm getting about 0.3328. And again, it might not be possible just from these results to guess the instantaneous rate of change at x equals 3, but I'm going to argue that it turns out the instantaneous rate of change here is a third, 0.3 repeating. And so what I'm claiming is that if x equals 3 is maybe here, let's say, I'm claiming that the slope of this tangent line to the curve at that point has a slope value of 1 third, 0.3 repeating. And again, if you already know how to differentiate, you can confirm this. f prime of x here would be 1 over x. And so f prime of 3 would be 1 third, which matches what we got. And so that concludes this tutorial. And there are two more examples if you'd like to see further examples.